was your reaction when you heard you're coming back? Um, just, uh, I don't know. I really don't know my reaction. It's still here. I'm still taking it in. Like, it's different, but it's the same. So it's like, I've been here before, but it's at a different time. What was it like seeing some of the guys? Oh, that was good. It was good seeing the guys, you know, still seeing some familiar faces. It was nice to see. And the coaching staff, and of course, is the same. So that's fun. What do you think has changed with you since you've uh, left? Uh, the biggest thing with me is just growth off the court. A lot of things, you know, just making sure I'm handling my body and other things that I'm doing right and stuff like that. So that would be my biggest thing that I've grown in. What do you think you can provide uh, for the Blazers this time around? Uh, energy, same thing as before. I come in and I compete as hard as I can and take it from there, take what I get. You look more fit. Yeah. How much uh, weight did you lose? Um, shoot, probably since the last time I was here, probably about 30 pounds. Wow. Yeah. What does that entail? Um, just, we're going to see. I mean, I haven't played live in NBA games since. Um, I have more energy and stuff like that. I'm still as strong, so this is going to help my condition to be able to play longer bursts. But how did you lose 30 oh, pounds? Like, just waking up and working out every day, really, yeah. and eating right, yeah. You're someone that's just been really committed to making sure you're in the best shape, it seems like, for your life, you know, from when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's something that uh, early in my life I had to deal with. So, um, you know, it's a lifestyle thing, as most people know, when you start eating better. So lifestyles take a while to keep getting acclimated to. Caleb, I know you haven't been here this season, but a, a big deal is that Nurk has been out. And mm -hmm. we understand that he practiced today. What mm -hmm. what did he look like? What did you kind of observe? Uh, Nurk's Nurk, man. He has a great feel for the game, great hands. Um, he just plays, man. He plays well. Um, today, there was a couple times where he lost, but there was days, a couple times where he went and dunked, and that's part of coming back, just as me, where um, come back and you do some goofy stuff, just getting your flow back. So, yeah. Nurk looked good. Nurk, Nurk looked really good. Looked okay. more patient, even more yeah. than so, last time. Last time. So he it was full contact and mm -hmm. all that scrimmaging. Um, I can't really go into all the details of that because yeah. that's just team information. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if they want that in the media, so I can't say that. Right. But okay. what has been your observations of the Blazers this season? I'm sure you followed them kind of from afar, but what are you, um, what are you uh, So far, I haven't watched a whole bunch of games beginning to end. I've watched a couple, but, I mean, just all you hear about is the injury. So um, it's hard to really give them a judgment when you don't know, you know, what guys they really had out there. So I've been watching a little bit, but each game has been a different, you know, group of guys. So it's hard to get a feel for what it is. What was your reaction last year when you were traded um, to Sacramento? And well, I guess, how, what was your reaction when you found out you were going back? Um, when I got traded, you know, my biggest thing was just um, go out there and do better, you know. And uh, I went out there and did uh, did what I did and struggled a little bit, but I came back and got myself back where I wanted to be. So that's the biggest thing right now. Do you, uh, I assume you had an apartment or something before. You try to get back to the same place. You're living. No, I different. probably won't stay in the same place. I'll probably switch up. I'll probably switch up. When you were here the first time, Portland had their full complement of bigs. Sacramento had their full complement. Now with the injuries you talked about earlier, you may be kind of asked to do more than you've had to in the past. Are, are you ready for that adjustment? How do you adjust to that? Um, you don't adjust to it. You just always spend your life getting ready for it. So when it comes, you can stay ready. So that's what they always say in the NBA, stay ready. You never know how it's going to come, and you never know. So um, that's all I'm going to do, keep working hard and staying ready.